Hello guys, myself Pavan and you are watching Optimistic Coder and in this video we are going to discuss about control flow statements. What is a control flow statement? What are the different types of control flow statements that we have in Java? Everything will be discussed in this video so watch the video till the end. So now what is a control statement? Basically, control statements are going to control the flow of your program. Whenever you write a program without using any kind of control statements, then those programs, every line of code will be executed and the output is generated. But in certain scenarios, you need to check some conditions and you have to execute certain blocks of statement. And in that case, you will be actually dividing your whole program into different blocks of code. And every block of code will execute by certain condition. If that condition gets satisfied, then the block will be executed or else the block will not be executed and skipped off. That's brief about control statement. Now let's see different types of control statements that we have in Java. So basically control statements are divided into three different types. Selection statement, iteration statement and jump statement. Let's understand each of these statements and what all different types of statements that they have in detail. So the first one is selection statement and before getting into types of selection statements that we have, let's understand what is selection statement with an example. Let's consider Lily is planning her holiday trips but she is confused between two places. First one is Goa and second one is Kashmir. Now she decides to go Kashmir, then she will be packing her bag with all her winter clothes. But if she decides to go for Goa, then she will be packing up all her summer clothes. Note one thing here that she has both summer clothes and winter clothes in her wardrobe. But she selects either summer or winter clothes depending on the place that she is going to visit. Now in the same way in selection statement also depending on the condition whether it is true or false we will execute some block of code and skip the other. So in selection statements we basically have five different types of statements that is if, if else if else if, nested if, and switch case. So the second one is iteration statement. Whenever you are trying to perform any kind of repetitive task, then we, are, we have to go with iteration statement. So for example, if you are trying to print hello world for 100 or 1000 times, then if you don't know about iteration statement, then it will be very, very difficult for you to type out 1000 times hello world and printing it out. So instead of that, you can use a simple iteration statement in which you just need to write some a small piece of code in which you have to just write system.out.println and within that, if you put hello world, it will print how many times that you give as a condition and it will execute it. So it's a better way and efficient way to actually do a repetitive task. Basically, we have three different types of loops or iteration statement that is for loop, while loop, and do while. So the last one is jump statements. It is basically used to either skip the looping statements or come out of it. Now whenever we try to perform any kind of looping statements for example to print values from 1 to 10 and if you want to skip any kind of statements for example you want to skip to print value 5 then you can use continue statement. Whereas if you want to come out of a loop and you just want to print till 1 to 5 and you want to come out of it, you can use a special keyword that is break. So by using break and continue, you can either come out of the loop or either you can skip a particular statement that is going to be executed by the loop. So that's the uh, basic use of jump statements. And basically jump statements are consisting of two things that is break and continue. So till now the theoretical concepts of selection, iteration and jump statements are been covered. From the next video we will be practically implementing all these statements in Eclipse. That's all in today's videos guys. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Till then bye.